Hi, this is Marsha. The video that you're going to see next is a video of our on-site workshops. During this workshop, I took time to talk about our data folders. Just like the blog post that you just got done reading, I do this as part of our six-hour or our two-day workshop. So if you're interested in knowing more about how you can get us to come to your school, your district, go ahead and contact us. Watch the video, see how it works out, and then let us know if we can help you out. Thanks, guys. So that you just take that ability, that 101, while you're doing the mini lesson with them, to do that. Also in the data folder, I have key mini lessons takeaways. So you would actually write down, oh, I met with Mrs. Kish today. Here's something I learned. I learned about data folders. This is what we're doing. So the kids have the ability, whichever activities you want to put into that folder, this is what you would, don't feel like you have to have all of them. Pick one or two to get started. Start with just a couple data. Start with that one, then add to it. And I like my new styles. What do you guys think? Colorful, friendly? Yes? <laughs> is that <Sorry>. boring? <laughs> your checklist is also in that same folder. Yes, your checklist goes and in the, the, the back. Yeah. Um, sometimes I just put the checklist right here in the, in the front. Oh. Or teachers put those plastic sleeves. So the front one is a plastic sleeve. You slide the checklist in, pull it out, put it back. So that way each week it's just there. The data folder is behind it. And you know this is the work you're working on, the work that's complete back here. Can you do checklists? I mean, sorry, can you do data folders? I think you can. Just start small. And now you have all those resources. Questions for